Mike Bradley here again. Um, I want to do a video uh, today on changing strings. And I get uh, asked this question a lot, especially by people who are just new to the instrument, um, how to uh, you know, change the strings on the guitar. And as uh, I'm going back to teach at the schools uh, this week, um, my old faithful Pacifica needs new strings. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. Here are my GHS boomers. Uh, I use 10 gauge, so open them up, disposing bin. So we have 10, 13, 17, 26, 36, 46. And they're simply the gauge of the strings, one, two, three, four, five, six strings, right? So we're gonna start off with uh, the first string. So I'll put this on my uh, desk of treats here I have. Um, so I've got my guitar. What we want is, you don't have to have one of these, but if you've got them by the lovely people of Gibson, um, it's a string winder, so it just saves having to do it the old, no, that way of doing it, you know? So, uh, put it on there, go all the way down. Right, I've just unhooked the string off the peg there, so then we just pop it through the hole, and then we're gonna pull it back through here like so. So now you can see that the first string is off, all right? So what we're gonna do now is just simply just get rid of uh, some of the crappy dust. Uh, you can, um, of course, clean the fingerboard, um, but I can't be bothered. Um, and like I say, this is only a teaching guitar, so I'm, I can't be asked. <laughs> but uh, I'll maybe do that in another video. So, little dust off. Then we get our new string. This is very hard to do with one hand. So I'm using 10 gauge. You may want to use nines if you're new to the guitar. Um, I feel I'm just more comfortable with tens um, and elevens as well. Sometimes I use as well uh, because I'm hard. <laughs> Changing angles. Got my new string. I'm going to because it's so hard doing it with one hand. So I'm going to pull it through the hole at the back. You can take the scratch plate off, but um, I can't be bothered. Right, well, I put the string through the bridge. All right, hopefully you can see that. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky if you're new to the guitar. So I pulled the string through the hole, like so. And then what I'm gonna do is that just give it a little bit of slack and then bring this extra string that you got through here and bring it over and you're going under the string itself. All right? And then what we're gonna do is just with this bit on the left, put that over like so. All right, obviously I'll do this on all the other strings so you can see it. So we're now like that, all right? And then let's put it in there and then keep the pressure like so. Turn it anti-clockwise left. Still holding it there. And give it a go. And we got it in there like that. And then don't worry about tuning it, we'll do that after. So, number two. So what we're gonna do on this one, got my peg in there, turn it clockwise. Like I say, I always do it so that the um, the hole is pointing up, so that when I go back to uh, putting the string in, it's easier. Now with Pacificas, they are notorious for, um, well mine is anyway notorious, for the blocks to be really small um, to get the string in, um, but it's just something you gotta live with, and I'll just put my finger back. Mmm, blood! Um, what are we gonna do? Get rid of that! Get my old 1993 flannel, <laughs> what I've had since 1993. Just get rid of all the excess dust. Mmm, changing strings is a deadly job. It's 13 gauge for two. Take it out. There's a the space is going in. It's going in through that. So then I've got this side of the back is going in. So let me stick it in. It's now come through there. All right, hopefully you're picking this up. Can you see the string there? Hello, string. Right, so got my string, got my dangly floppy bit, and then this 
is going up through the hole up here. So just like I did last time. Okay, so it's all through now. And like I did before, bring it a little bit of slack. This bit in my left hand going right and coming under this bit in my left hand. So now I've got like a little bow happening. And then put that under like so. And then this bit on my left is coming up over it. So let me do that one more time so you can see. So you got the uh, the top bit coming under. So I've got it like so. That coming under like that. And that's going over it. Easy. And if you've got a string tree, pull it over. All right. Then get my uh, peg. Turn it anti-clockwise. And Bob's your teapot is done. And I'm telling you. Now I think it's really, no, it's things what a guitar player needs to know. Uh, two main things you need to know being a guitar player. Um, one of them is how to change your guitar strings. The amount of people have asked me to do it. And I, I show them, you know, of course I show them and try and help them. But they're like, oh, can you just do it for me? You know, I'll pay you five pounds or something like that. But it's like, if you don't learn, you're never going to be able to do it yourself. You know, I've had people tell me they've gone to like guitar shops and uh, I've got people to do it for them, you know, which I think is uh, a bit silly. On string three, flannel from 93. Give it a good old dust. Right, angle change again. <laughs> Just to make it interesting and as you get a better light. Um, yeah, it's actually quite awkward changing changing strings um, over a camera. But hey, hey what are you gonna do? On three, my 17 gauge. So I'm on the fifth, um, fifth one now, going up, you know, the usual thing. It's always a little bit tricky on the fifth or sixth one, just to make sure it stays on neater, but, you know, it's all the same uh, idea, you know, come that down, hold it, bring it up, bang, you know. But like I was saying earlier, it's, it's very important, uh, I think I said earlier, I didn't finish it, it's two things you need to know on the guitar, um, how to change the strings. And the second thing is how to adjust the action on the guitar. Uh, whether you want a low action, like a lot of the kind of shredders and legato players have. Um, I need that. Uh, or if you want a high action, um, which you know a lot of people will say it gives it a better tone because it gives the string more uh, room to breathe and all that kind of stuff. You know, so it can sing out more. I mean, Ingve Malmsteen is obviously a notorious shredder. He uh, he obviously scallops his necks and his struts, uh, and then, uh, which basically, if you don't know what that means, like carves the wood out, so it'll be kind of like that in, in the woods. Uh, I've never played one, but obviously I'm not going to lie. Uh, but then, obviously, it means that the action would be, uh, you know, probably like there, <laughs> something like that. It'd be really, really high. Um, but so playing fast like the Gato and stuff is a lot harder, but you know, to bend the strings I think makes it a lot easier. So you know, bend you can get right under the strings and stuff. Um before I forget, 46, the last one. Pull it in the hole. All six strings were on, but it sounds bloody disgusting. So uh, give the guitar a tune up. Well, now I'm gonna give it um, a good old tune up. So of course, we're gonna tune this up to one E. And when you get it in pitch, give it a tug. All right, so I usually hold it down the, at the no, first, second or third fret, giving it a stretch over. It will go back out of tune again and repeat the process. You know, just keep stretching it. Now, 
you very unlikely you're gonna snap the string, but it does happen. I've snapped the string a couple of times and I'm tugging it and snap and it's gone, you know? But um it very rarely happens, you know, it does happen now and then though. So just keep doing that until uh, it's staying in tune, which it pretty much is. Go to the second one, give it a good old yank. So now second string, so the B string. Tune it so it says B or 2B as mine is saying. And then, just so you can see there, bang in the middle. I hope so, anyway I can't see that far but it's there. <laughs> and then, just keep the process going over and over. Alright now I'm on the sixth string. So I'm going to give that a pull. Good old yank. Tune it up, and this will be no six, obviously, but uh, be the E string, the low E string. My phone. Hello, mate. I'm all right. How are you, man? Oh, sorry, I haven't got back to you lately. I've uh, yeah. How are you going, mate? I've got some money. Let's fucking go and hit it tonight. Nice. So we went ten yards down the road, and we saw this bar open, man. So we went in. Oh, good work, good work. Oh, that's 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 up there, isn't it? That is that's up there. So is the album actually going to be done? Good God. <laughs> Broke um, C6 Steve, you know. So yeah, um, yeah, getting something like that would be very good. I'm back after that phone call. Uh, <laughs> that was quite funny. <laughs> uh, I'll probably put that in the video as well. What I said then, well, a little bit anyway. Um, anyway, so while that was going on, I was giving all my strings a stretch. Like I said, just keep stretching, 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 uh, retune, retune it, stretch it, retune it, etc. Um, and then we can chop off the ends um, with uh, some needle nose pliers and give them a good old click. Uh, snip, 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 and that's it, all there. So now let's plug her in.